Hi there, this is Andrew from Hot Tub Focus, and today's question is how much does hot tub water evaporate? Um, and you might be quite surprised to find that hot tubs are actually very good at evaporating water. Um, it's difficult when you create well, there are there's there's a horrendously complicated equation for working out um actually literally how much a hot tub is likely to evaporate that's way beyond my comprehension but it does give does give you some ideas of what the variable factors are there's a link to it and to, this, to the information um below in the blog post that i wrote to accompany this video which will give you a bit more detail on this but basically um the amount of water that your hot tub evaporates depends on the depth of the water the amount of water in the hot tub the temperature of the water in the hot tub the um air temperature around the hot tub the um humidity um reading around the hot tub the moisture in the air that is the humidity in the of the of the air around the hot tub and also the amount of wind or breeze that's blowing over the hot tub um It'll also depend on how many people use the hot tub as well. It'll depend on whether you use the jets in the hot tub a lot or not. So there's a huge number of variable factors. Um, but to answer the question of how much does a hot tub evaporate in a nutshell, well, having read on a number of forums and also through my own sort of observation, if uh, most hot tubs seem to lose between one and two inches of water from the level um, a week. And that's totally normal. It depends how much you use it is, is the other question. If you if you have if you have the lid on it all the time, it's not going to evaporate. So if you have your hot tub cover on, then actually assuming it's a good fit, it's not really going to evaporate much at all. But if you have your cover off a lot or you're putting lots of shock in and leaving the cover off, you're putting the cover out to dry, you know, whatever's happening with the with the cover off and the hot tub left open to the elements, it's going to evaporate water. Now, this isn't a big problem, it's a normal occurrence, but there are a number of things that you need to look out for. The first thing is that don't be tempted to, on a weekly basis, just chuck up a couple of buckets of water in and hope that that will sort of fix, you know, top up the level and fix it. It'll top up the level, but if you're just getting water directly from the tap and chucking it in a bucket, then throwing it into the hot tub, um, there's possibly going to be all sorts of contaminants in there, certainly going to be metals and things in the in the water. Much better to, it takes a little bit longer, but to use a hose, put a filter in the hose um, and use a special filter to filter out, filter out all of those impurities. So you are putting the cleanest water and the, the best water that you can in the hot tub. Um, each time because if you know you it will it will gradually change the water to a certain extent um the second thing is that um you need to make sure that you're you're you are reading the level properly there's normally on most hot tubs a level marker on the side if you don't know where it is make sure that the level is a good inch or two above the the uh the lowest jet or the lowest intake or whatever's on the side of the hot tub um other things to look out for in terms of evaporation, if your hot tub suddenly starts losing water, so the level goes down quite quickly, um, or it starts losing water just gradually more, then it's possible that you've got a leak. Um, and this is where things become problematic. There's lots of detail in the blog post linked below on how to find a leak. Um, but in essence, most of the time, if you've got a big leak, then you will see a patch around the outside of the of the hot tub not necessarily all the time but a lot of the time if it's a really massive leak other places to look around the pump around moving parts where there's a vibration the joints and the seals around there occasionally do leak um, and if you're really unlucky you may have a leak deep within the hot tub inside all of the foam and everything that will be easy to fix but difficult to find um, and it's at that point where you need to decide whether you, well, A, you live with the leak, but it's likely to get worse, or B, you try to fix it yourself, or C, you call in somebody to repair it for you. And that will depend on the age of your hot tub, whether it's under warranty or not, your experience level and confidence level in, in actually tackling a repair like that. Okay, well, I hope that's been helpful. Um, if you've liked this video and you'd like to see more, then subscribe by hitting the button below. As I say, go to Hot Tub Focus by clicking on the link in the description below, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks then. Bye-bye.